storage and memory devices, data and information. Computer is a highly intelligent machine composed of different parts. All the parts work together to process the input received by them from the user as per the instructions and in return provide the user with the output that we input in the computer is called data. It can be a collection of facts, figures, concepts, etc. The output that we receive from the computer after it has processed that data as per the instructions is known as information. Computer, a big storage device. Children, as God has blessed us with the memory to remember the things. Similarly, computers also require some devices to store the data and information for future use. These devices are known as storage devices or memory devices. As human beings, we tend to forget things over a longer period, but computers don't. Types of storage devices Children, there are mainly two types of storage. Primary storage devices or primary memory. Secondary storage devices or secondary memory. Primary storage devices, primary memory. It is also known as main memory. The main memory is directly or indirectly connected to the central processing unit via a memory bus. It only stores those data and instructions on which computer is currently working. The CPU continuously reads instructions stored there and executes them as required. There are two types of primary memory available in the computer. RAM, random access memory. ROM, read-only memory. Random access memory. RAM, it contains the data and instructions on which the CPU is currently working. It is volatile. The amount of RAM present in a computer system decides smooth functioning and multitasking features of the computer. There are two types of RAM, DRAM, Dynamic Random Access Memory, SRAM, Static Random Access Memory, Static RAM, Faster, More Expensive, More Power Consumption does not need to be refreshed. Dynamic RAM Slower, less expensive, less power consumption needs to be refreshed thousands of times per second. Read-only memory ROM ROM's data is pre-recorded. It is non-volatile in nature. It is generally used for special software called BIOS Basic Input Output System. This helps in loading the operating system software when the computer is switched on. Secondary storage devices or secondary memory. It is also known as auxiliary memory or external memory. It stores data permanently. It has huge data storing capacity. Some of the secondary storage devices are hard disk. All the work done on a computer system is stored on a hard disk. It can store a large amount of data. The hard disk is present inside the CPU box. But nowadays external hard disk is also very much in use and popular too because it is portable in nature. It can store anything from 160 gigabytes to 2 terabytes. CD, compact disk or DVD, digital versatile disk. These are circular shape. They can store any type of information such as documents, images, pictures, games, software etc. It has a high data storage capacity. It is portable. A CD can store up to 700 MB of data. Compact disks are of two types. CDR, it is known as recordable disk. Data once recorded cannot be removed from it. CDRW, these are rewritable disks and as the name suggests, new data can be stored on it and the old one can be erased. DVD is used to store high capacity data like movies, videos etc. It can store 4.7 GB to 17 GB of data. It is also used to store operating systems. Blu-ray disc. It is mainly used for storing very high quality video files and video games. Its storage capacity is too high. It can store up to 125 GB of data. The name Blu-ray refers to the blue laser, actually a violet laser used to read the disc. Pen drive or flash drive. A pen drive or flash drive is a small storage device making it convenient to carry data from one place to another. 
It is connected through the USB port of the computer. It is used to store and transfer data from one system to another. Memory card Memory card is like a chip. It is mainly used in mobile phones, digital camera, etc. To read the data, a memory card reader is required.